Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. I recently reached a thousand subscribers and that is so exciting, so exciting that I wanted to provide a giveaway. The details will be provided at the end of the video because right now I just wanted to get started and talk about this pen case. Now I got this a few years ago, I would say four to five years ago from Jet Pens and it is the Lee Heat Lab cannot wait for it. This is a really long title. The Lee Heat Lab Smart Fit Act Act Wide Open Pen Case in the color yellow green. It's been a trusty companion of mine. Um, I used it every day when I was in school. I love the two zipper pulls so it opens on either side. It's got reinforced bottom corners. You can see that it's got some scuffs and the corners have a little wear to them but it's still in great working shape. Now, essential number one is this natural ice lip balm. I've used this brand since I was in middle school and it's the only lip balm that my sensitive lips will tolerate. Now I'm starting off with gel pens, ballpoint pens and highlighters will come later. Um, and among the gel pens, first up are these Zebra Sarasa clips and these are in the vintage colors. I purchased these pens because I love their retro design. My favorite is the red black, which you'll see in just a second. Um, one thing about me is that I love all things burgundy, crimson, wine red, Bordeaux, plum colors, etc., etc. And I have a lot of clothes in this color family as well. And I tend to gravitate to this color when I look at pens and inks. I love these Zarasa clip pens, but for some reason, I just don't reach for them as often as I'd like. They're great for note taking, but I found that I reach for my jet stream and friction pens more often when I need to jot down quick notes. I do tend to use these Zarasa pens when I want to slow down, for example, when I'm journaling, um, I just wanna be more mindful in my writing. Next up are my Friction Ball Slims, and they're in the 0.38 millimeters. These were one of my favorite pens to reach for when I was in school. Um, I use these almost every day, especially my favorite colors were, no surprise, wine red, coral pink, and blue black. I purchased a ton of these refills. I went through them on a very regular basis. That's probably the only downside is that the ink capacity is quite low, or perhaps it's just that you have to put down a ton of ink, uh, the fact that these are erasable. I use these pens often for note taking, but I loved using them for my planner. Um, I used to plan in three month periods um, as they would coincide with the academic quarter system that I was in when I was in school. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, assignment deadlines would change, commitments would change. And so as they would, as changes would come up, I could easily erase while keeping the appearance of my calendar clean and neat. They also come in a wide array of colors. And so it was really helpful for color coding and just keeping things organized in my calendar. And for times when I wasn't able to bring my entire pen collection, um, this would be the pen that I would bring um, if I wanted to bring some friction pens. Um, and I used up a lot of the inks in here, and so I've already placed refills in this three color pen. Um, I have the red filled with the wine red, I have the blue filled with sky blue, and I think the black is a refill as well. So the Uniball Signo is another great gel pen, another one of my favorite pens to use, particularly when I was in school. Um, and the thing about these pens is that they're great for note taking, they're really versatile for when I have to write down quick notes, but then also I use them quite often when um, I used to bullet journal. So prior to my current Hobonichi phase, I was really, really like deep into bullet journaling and I continue to use aspects of it, but actually um, I'll probably resume some bullet journaling um, as well, just because it really was the most effective way for me to manage my time. But going back to the Uniball Signos, I love the cap pen so much that I purchased a few retractable versions, but what's so interesting is that I hardly use these pens. I think probably if they were the only, if I only had like 10 pens, I would use these often, but I think because I just have a lot of pens, I don't reach for these as much. And as you can tell, I prefer using finer tipped pens, smaller than 0.5 millimeters generally. The exception will be ballpoint pens where I, where I will use a 0.7 or even a 1.0. Now the next two pens are ones that I didn't purchase myself. In fact, I either found them lying around the house 
Or maybe I was walking somewhere on campus and I saw them on the ground and I picked it up and I tested it out, you know, perhaps just to throw it away, but then I found that I really like these pens. And these are pens that I don't, I would never have purchased myself. And I particularly love the Staples Sonics pen. Uh, I looked online to buy some of those pens, but it looks like the pens are discontinued. So I don't go for these pens as often as I like, just because I wanna save the ink. When I want a broader saturated ink, this these two are the pens that I tend to grab. I absolutely love ballpoint pens. Um, in fact, I prefer ballpoint over gel pens. Um, now, the thing about this big round stick in black and blue, uh, they're probably the cheapest pens that I own, and yet they're the ones that I probably use on a daily basis, particularly with the type of work that I do. I write a lot of notes, um, and you know these are the ones that I just don't care to lose. Um, and they're just so accessible. You can buy a box of them for very cheap. So this orange Bic four color pen is probably the first pen that I bought for myself when I was in middle or high school. Growing up, this was the pen that my dad used at all times for work and for every day. And it has, you know, some emotional sentimental meaning to me because it was the first pen I'd ever wanted when I was a kid, mostly because I saw my dad using it. Um, and I like Bic pens in general for its affordability and reliability. This pen has a lot of nostalgia for me and I think I'll always have this particular pen handy just for that reason. Now the Pilot Opt pen is a step up from my big round stick pens and you probably saw this in my stationary haul video which I'll also link above for you but I, I love this pen. I've said love probably way too many times in this video, but I have to say that I really, really do love these Uni Jetstream pens. These are my all-time favorites outside of fountain pens because um, they are a category of their own. But like my chapstick, this is the pen that I have to have multiples of. I bought multi-packs and had to make sure that I have a couple in my pen pouch, one at my bedside, another in the car, etc. cetera. Um, my favorites are the 0.38 millimeters. I found that the 1.0 pens are just too slick, too slippery, and so I need a pen that has a bit of feedback to it. They're a pleasure to write with in cheap copy paper, classic spiral bound notebooks. They're also really comfortable to write with because of the rubber grip section, uh, and I just really enjoy these pens as an everyday writer. These Bic Brightliners were my go-to highlighters in school, and I only have the pink and the blue because I used up the orange and the yellow, which were my preferred colors. But they're perfect for me in that they glided really easily on the page, the felt tip isn't too harsh or hard like other highlighters, and the color is just right. Not too bright and saturated, and also not too light either. But you know, when I needed a very light pastel sort of highlighter, then I would use my Friction highlighters. Um, they're very light, they're pastel in color, and I think the colors all really complement one another quite well. I use these pens in conjunction with my friction ball pens when filling out my planner. And so I had every class, every commitment, activity color coded, so it was really helpful that I could easily erase these markings when plans changed. Among the friction highlighters, I would say purple was my favorite color to use. So I recently reached a thousand subscribers and as a way to say thank you and to celebrate this big milestone, I wanted to provide a giveaway of one of my favorite pens. And this is the Caveco Classic Sport in the olive green color. You might have seen it featured in a few of my videos um, and it's just a pen that I will use almost every day, just on a very regular basis. And so I wanted to provide one of these pens and I actually purchased this um, with my own money in addition to uh, the ink cartridges as well. They both were purchased um, by me on the St. Louis Art Supply Company website. Um, I really love this company. They have a great selection of pens and inks um, and their art supplies, their, their art supply inventory is also phenomenal. In addition to the pen, I'd like to offer the uh, Caveco Twist and Test cartridge dispenser, and it comes with eight ink cartridges. Each of them are different colors that Caveco provides. Three things in order to participate in this giveaway. You have to be 18 years of age or older. You also need to be a subscriber to my channel, Leanne Likes. 
And please leave a comment talking about your favorite fountain pen and ink pairing and or your favorite shading ink. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.